Before I start this video, I would like to announce I have a Patreon page where you can get some awesome rewards, so I'd recommend checking it out. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today we will actually be making a video about feminism. Now I think it's pretty obvious how most people interpret feminism because it's not really seen as something good. Unless you're a normie, then that's another thing. Feminism has changed a lot over the years and it's not what it used to be. It used to be about women having the right to vote and having a movement so that women could feel equal to men. And the feminism which we have today is not really compatible with society. The movement today is very toxic and has no end goal towards whatever they're doing. The thing is, the movement actually does more bad than even good. Feminism is also used towards hating men because they had their male privileges when in reality it's actually females who have their privileges, aka female privilege. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have you ever heard the phrase, oh don't hit her, she's just a girl. That's the definition of female privilege. And feminists won't acknowledge that because they only acknowledge the bad things which happen to them. They don't acknowledge the good things which they have by being a woman. I honestly don't like this phrase either because it's really sexist, but I just hate it when feminists are just freaking ungrateful off for being a woman and they're just i can't be asked and now that we're sitting here honey and we're acknowledging female privilege so if we can acknowledge that there's female privilege why do we have a female movement you do realize the word femme in feminism means female <laughs> seriously you can actually go to any synonyms or whatever website and you can literally check what is similar to feminism, and this is what I found. On the Soros, which is a very credible website, the synonyms towards feminism is feminist movement, sisterhood, womanism, woman's lib, woman's libertation. And then you're telling me it's an equal movement. I really don't think it's just for both sexes. I think it's just for women, because then it wouldn't have said this. It's really hypocritical to say that feminism is actually supporting both sexes, because it clearly doesn't. And here we have some videos of feminists making themselves look like a fool. Rape culture is a culture in which sexual violence is considered the norm. By the time the average woman reaches 60 years old, she will have made $450,000 less than a man in the same exact position. <coughs> and can we please stop telling people that everybody is actually a feminist because everyone should be a feminist because that's not how it's going to work. Listen to this. If you think women should have the same rights as men, you're a feminist. Seriously, you are. Honey, not everybody needs to identify as a feminist. You have the right to identify what you want to identify. I really hate that I'm in Swedish classrooms and these female feminists are telling me everybody should be a feminist. We should all support equality, even though it's not for equality. And seriously, we're not here to support your stupid woman movement. We're not here to give you extra attention points because you are so greedy. Go back to your freaking Instagram post where you get freaking 10,000 likes. And then the funny thing is, feminists get really triggered over this. You can call yourself an equalist or an egalitarian and they will not be able to say anything because it destroys their whole point of their movement. Like, you need to step up your game, girl. You can't promote falsehood when you know what it's about. Feminism is not about equality. It's about women. It's about womanhood. It's about sisterhood. So please stop lying to yourself. And then we have stupid terms like mansplaining or men are rapists or even we live in a rape culture, which we don't. Mansplaining is not mansplaining. If I want to sit with my legs open, I have the right to do that. You have nothing to comment about it. If you don't like it, just don't look at it. I'm not asking you to look at me. Uh, men are not always rapists. Women can also be rapists. And you're being pretty sexist by assuming all men are rapists. Because if all men are rapists, then you're assuming that all feminists are lesbians because they all hate men. Which I don't think is really the truth, if we are going to be completely honest. Even though all of them pretty much look like lesbians. And then, even this freaking tweet. There is no such thing as sexism against men. That's because sexism is prejudiced plus power. Men are dominant gender with power in society. Listen, Anita Sarkeesia, you can be sexist towards a dominant group of people. You can be racist towards a dominant group of people. Thinking one group is dominant is actually a subjective opinion. So you can't go around saying that they're dominant when in some places they may not be. So if you want to look less like a hypocrite, please don't support sexism or racism to any gender or race. 
So my conclusion is don't support a movement which is only for womanhood and then say it's not just for womanhood because it clearly is. Call yourself an equalist or an egalitarian because that will really trigger the feminists because they have nothing to back that up. They have nothing to say against that. I've not seen a single feminist who's actually said anything against that because it destroys their whole freaking movement because there's nothing towards the movement. Okay, girl. And also, stop telling people to be feminists. If they don't want to identify as feminists, they don't have to. They might not like the term, and that's that's up to them. And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Mamsa, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!